Hello everyone and welcome. This is Kip Monty and in this video I'm going to be playing some Tropico 5. I'm now on the second mission of the campaign, so let's get started. Changing the World is the name of the campaign. And like I said, we're on the second mission. Little tip here though, I had a lot of trouble loading this mission to begin with. The mission is called Special Relationship, the second mission. It's played on the map. <laughs> Excuse me. Put on a map called Bao Bao, and sometimes if you try and go straight to Bao Bao from the main screen, it'll give you an infinite loading screen, which is pretty nasty. But the workaround that I found on another guy's YouTube channel, Skype Storm, he said that if you will load a sandbox At mission, if you load a sandbox mission with Bao Bao as the map, and I'll then load the um, load your campaign from that map it'll do like I just did here and load just fine I was on another a sandbox mission it just started one Bow Bow's the map I tried to load my campaign worked just fine so if you run into that bug which apparently is already pretty common that's the workaround so let's get into the game if you haven't seen my first video from the first mission you might want to take a look at that because I go over a lot of the basics of the game there uh, keep in mind that you have two options of what map you want to use on the first stage and you'll be reusing those maps throughout the at least the first few levels. I don't know how far in the game it goes, but I know for at least the first six missions or so. So whatever you do on this map right here, next time you have to use this map, your city and whatever you left it, whatever state you left it in, will already be there. So you want to be real careful when building up that you don't mess up things too bad. Granted you can just destroy and you know all that later, but might be easier to get your economy really going to start off with. Alright, so let's see. Right now I have to export, make some profits, but first I really want to get my economy going. Greetings, have to be in have I got I buy the silver package just to be easy to start off with. Notice I had to put it in uh, play mode to actually activate that quest. His Majesty has come up with a most ingenious plan to defeat our enemies. We yes, yes. Alright, so basically what this guy wants me to do is build a ranch and it'll extend my mandate. I uh, will touch briefly on some of these basics and that is that you have four years to either declare your independence or get kicked out of office. There's different quests and things you can do, mission rewards that let you extend your mandate. Also some things you can do to decrease your mandate time so be careful of those and be watching your time that you don't get ousted and also I said this in my first video but if you happen to fail your first mission don't be concerned it's not just the easiest game ever so you know play have fun learn but don't get frustrated if you lose and also need to point out that yes I'm wearing a breathe right strip so that's part of the reason I look pretty goofy right now let's See. First, I'll take a look at my stats. I love my almanac. The second tab here, the happiness, it gives me the basic overview of everything I need to see quickly and frequently, mainly my homeless people and my unemployed. Those are two things I want to minimize. I do not like free rides, so I'm going to try and get my people jobs really quick here. Resource tab, I only have access to a few things since I'm in one of the first missions. Cattle Ranch gives me milk and meat. That's a good thing. I right, kind of get an idea of what the terrain looks like. I'll go to overlays here and just check out what the crops are going to be looking like. So I don't like plant something in a spot that I might want to save for something else later. Right, I've got a general idea of that. Build some roads. Kind of get the grid going so I know where I'm at. Cancel construction, you get your money back. I didn't have it on the road, and I'm pretty OCD about my grid layouts. Alright, now that's going to construction office workers are gonna go start building those. The Teamsters will start moving goods as they become available. 
Notice I only have one food variety, so I have very low food happiness right now. Once my cattle and milk get up and running, then we'll have more food variety. They'll be much happier with me. So before I build anything, I'm going to see what trade options are available to me. This up arrow means I can export it. The down arrow means I can import it. Fish, there's not a great market there. So cotton smugglers, but that'll make the crown dislike me. This tobacco doesn't seem like a very bad deal. Gold I could export, don't have any gold right now. Planks are at a good price, but that's going to take a little bit to build up to. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start off with the tobacco, go ahead and lock this contract in, and then I'll start immediately building some tobacco. Red arrow means there's no road to it. Now I could overlap these things. I like this version much better from previous versions in that I can see exactly where my plantations are going to be using instead of just kind of having to guesstimate and the people you know, may put the plantation over here but they're harvesting crops way over here. It's just a little, a little unorganized. Somebody like me, like I said, OCD, likes the smoothness I see here. Alright, I need to go ahead and unveil some more territory. So I'm going to send these guys out to explore. I'm going to have them go along this edge. Oh, we'll go all the way to over here. Hopefully they'll cover all this land. I have no research yet, but I don't have research points. I'll get to that in a minute. And let's go ahead and start speeding these guys up. I think we've got enough stuff going on now to justify it. Where they're building that, I'll look at some of this stuff. Your basic window, you've got a lot of tabs here on every building. Every building has some upgrades you can take advantage of. Has instructed me. I always like the treasury early on. Something I didn't mention in my first video, I thought I'd save it for this one. Your budget. You can increase or decrease your budget that's going to be spent on that video, uh, that building. And that'll increase the wealth provided to the people working here. Increase the quality, things of that nature. Um... So I have to increase it, makes job quality higher, I can make them well off. And that adjusts where they um, can and can't shop, where they can and can't afford. Um, effectiveness is 173 if I put it up like that. But for now, I'm just going to keep things low. You can also assign a foreman. It increases effectiveness if the job quality is reduced. However, I'm going to do that anyway. Maybe I'll go ahead and give these guys a bump just so they won't be quite as aggravated. Technological progress is the She wants a library, of course, we can get some tech going. Not a bad idea. You want to go ahead and get your tech going sooner rather than later. Let's see how much is it? Five thousand. That's a little bit of hit to your budget, but it's not terrible. I've only got 20 unemployed and 63 homeless now. I'm going to get my economy going first. Then I'll worry about the actual <coughs> homeless people. And guys, if y'all have any questions or any content you want to see specifically, I'm going to be posting this to my Twitch channel here and to YouTube. So just let me know what you guys want to see. I'll see what I can do about it. Stage one of His Majesty's plan has been initiated. Alright, so let me export some meat. I've already got the cattle farms going, so that shouldn't be a problem. You can adjust the priority on building, so if you've got several things being built and you need something sooner than another, you can upgrade the priority there. Let's see, I've got some tobacco already being exported. These guys are getting on it quick. Good. Alright, my library is built, so I should be getting a quest reward here soon. 
governor of Tropico's economic performance. Ah, the president's coming. All right. So let's get some research going. I mentioned this in my first video. You can actually queue multiple things to be done at once, even things that you don't have access to yet. So I would suggest going ahead and queuing a bunch of stuff up that way you don't have to constantly come back to your research. It'll just start spitting it out. All right, so I don't have anything being built right now. I think I still have some unemployed people, so I'm going to keep building stuff. Let's get some basic entertainment going. The tavern is affected by the beauty of wherever it is. I always like to put it down here by the water because I'm never really going to affect the beauty of the water. And that'll give them a little bit of entertainment. Alright, so they want me to make bets with the president. Um, I could let it cycle through the quest and let you read all that, but I figure you can do that when do you're not watching somebody try and give you advice. The, Empire, the king has organized a royal cook-off. We must show him that Tropican cuisine is the best cuisine. Now, I usually want to get revolutionary support, but also I need to get my economy going. I'm not real worried about my mandate this early in the game. I'm going to go ahead with the revolutionaries. Okay, you got my attention. Yet I bet there is no way you can export... Alright, so this should be pretty easy to do. Export 10,000 worth of goods. Not a problem. Presidente, as you know, it is your will alone that keeps Tropico together. Without you, the entire island would crumble to dust and be lost forever. Let's see. Strength, culture... I gotta go with synchronized as swimming. As the air was born, all animals became quiet. A light shone through the skies, and La Chupacabra herself went to the crib and bowed to the infant. At least, that is what we will write in the history books. Well, since La Chupacabra... Alright. Uh, what benefit do I want my guy to have? I'm going with students. Oh, she is hideous. Oh, she's hideous. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with fixing her though. Sir, Go the crown has decided to impose a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you're under the mandate of the crown, they'll continually nickel and dime you. But our research, that is to say, me. All right. So my first research is done. I've got mines, and it's already working on my sickle. So I can go ahead and start making a little bit more money. I haven't seen as much issue with the environmentalists in this game, especially not in the early eras, so I'm going to do more mining and lumber than I have in previous games. Speaking of which, let's get a logging camp going. Let's see, okay, I've got three food varieties now, so tobacco doesn't count as a food. I've got corn, and I've got milk and meat, so I'm going to go ahead and make a couple more items to make them a little happier. And let's see. See, pineapples are usually a good thing. Soil's not too fertile for pineapples here. See, I can put this here, though I don't get the full benefit of it. I'm going to go ahead and turn it a little bit. I like putting pineapples next to each other because one of their upgrades allows His Royal near Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation. It allows you to get nearby uh, plantations boost to each other, so that can be helpful. The revolution needs the people's support. All right, Catholic mission. So this is the first church you're going to be using, and you want to put these near residential area 
areas because in later eras you can upgrade the church to give a benefit to give a benefit to nearby homes to increase their housing quality. We'll let a couple of things finish building and then I'm going to start putting in some homes. we got a lot of homeless people. Then I'm going to hit that urban development to make it cheaper to build homes. But I'm going to need to build a bunch of them within those two years. The urban development only lasts for two years. So I'm going to maximize the $7,000 i am going to have to spend on that. All right, fish are up and running. So I have four food types. Crown's taken out their tax there. Someone stole my manuscript and public. All right, so one guy should be picking up. Okay, you proved me wrong. I'll give you that, buddy. Let's drink to your success. All the profitable trade routes for now. Me, oh wow, that is a profitable route. And logs. Wow, look at the increase of the default price. You know what? I was going to build some homes, but I think I want to go ahead and build some more docks so I can take advantage of those. I want to get those locked in before they go away because your deals change over time. Anyone can try to grow something. Try making money out of large scale cattle. Right, I'm not quite ready to move on yet. I want to get my economy flowing a little bit better. That's one thing about Tropico. Sir, the crown introduced. At least in the past, it wasn't as big of a deal if you waited to do your main mission. You could build up for a long time and it didn't affect anything. This game is going to be a little bit different because you've got this timer ticking down, so you can't just wait forever to do something. In a flash of brilliance, his... Another wharf? I don't want another wharf. I'm going to have to build one now. There's my groups that went out exploring, coming back. We built a good piece of the island. What I don't like though orders attention that the favor of the crown has shifted away from you. And this in danger. To like discover this area, I'm about to send a whole expedition just to like right here and they'll come right back. I so it's like three other members of the research. The straight line stuff doesn't really appeal to me. Hire in some managers here. So I did that. I'm going to up their budget to compensate. Right, so I got my managers up and running. Right, let's hope those trade deals are still here. Logs, yes. The meat was even better though, so I'm going to do that one first. It doesn't matter which dock you click on, you can see all your trade at one dock. Listen very carefully. I shall... She wants another library? Huh? Anyone can try... There is a way around the real estate tax. You, of course, will have to do your part. The Order does not want you to rely on us for everything. The Order provides the guidance, and you provide the effort. Alright, so I need to do extra rations anyway that makes my people happier. I always like to do that edict. And then... I have to get red tape unlocked to 
unlock the building permit, which lets me add money to my personal stash, which is more important in this game than it has been in other tropical games because you can actually use that money to do different things. Whereas in other games, it was more about your score. Alright, guys, come on, get this built. We just discovered the number of times. Alright, so let's lock in that final profitable trade route, which was logs. There we go. Alright, now to get some of these quests out of the way, I need another wharf. hate having to build another library because I don't need it right now. My stuff is progressing fine. Now I'll get back to my Catholic mission Always in my homes here soon. On the crop market is easy. Now, a solid... and get some more logs we want since I'm gonna be selling a lot of those. I promise I'll give my people some homes soon. I've got 80 homeless. Wow. They're not gonna be too thrilled with me right now. Alright guys, come on, get this stuff built. I may go ahead and build another construction office here pretty soon. get that built so they start building other stuff. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation I for see. your achievements in the name of the Empire. Yes, very well. Alright, so you get this pretty frequently during these missions. At first I always add the money to my treasury when I know I'm about to go to Revolution, i uh, go ahead and give it my Swiss count. But right now, I want the extra time. I don't want to be too rushed here. Great news! So see, I just keep getting stuff unlocked because I had it all queued up. Can't queue this yet because that's not unlocked this error. This guy's maxed out 50-50 visitors, so I'm going to need some more entertainment here soon. I've got 125 people, so obviously I'm going to need more space. Throwing some cheap exports on the crop market. I go ahead and accept that, and I will start with my houses. But first, I'm going to get this. Oh, I don't have red tape yet. In previous Tropico games, you had to do a. Um, ask for aid from USSR to get the building reduction. Not so in this game, you have to actually research the technology, which will be ready in 10 months. Uh, I'll go ahead and start building some homes before then. Country homes actually provide uh, food, so that can be very useful early on in the game. So I'm setting this grid up because I'm going to go ahead and put my church down where it can affect as much stuff. Reference. The revolutionary movement is growing. Get some new revolutionaries, get that percentage up because I'm pretty low right now. I need to unlock this area so I can put that cathedral down. Or church rather, mission.
His Majesty's plans have been hindered by... Yes, yes, you only export fish. These early missions are pretty easy. You're going to be doing a lot of this stuff anyway. See, I've got five food types now. My pineapples are up and running. I probably want to get some bananas going to add another food type in. Presidente, my career as a weatherman is over. I promise everyone else. Oh, tornado! We have invented red tape. Okay, man, congratulations. Well done. You continue to amaze. You don't really need half the U.S. Rebuild even while the storm is still hitting. That's very convenient. I am back in the game. I can now accurately predict. I only lost one building, not too bad. I can get my building permit since my red tape is done. Urban development I'm going to hold off on now since I just built some stuff already. Right, so managers. I have no available managers right now, but I think if you do a census, that is what discovers new managers for you quickly. Well done! Congratulations! Well, what do you know? I like to be proven wrong. Free Opera House has already have the red tape. This is a um, luxury entertainment. Bananas are up and running, so... Do I already have bananas? It's high time that I left for the U.S. May I finish that one a little bit quicker than I meant to? Alright guys, this has been Kip Monty, and that was the second mission of Tropico 5. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll tune in for some other videos. Uh, let me know what you thought about it, any suggestions, if I talk too slow, if I talk too fast, if I just look too goofy and I should take this picture off the screen, whatever. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, yeah, see you guys around. Hit the like button.